Hello friends, welcome back. Well, we've made it. The final war of season 14, our sentence about to be served, and our final opponents for this season are TWY 1453. This alliance actually, um, coming into this war, uh, was ranked at like the bottom three of Platinum 3, so um, a win for them would have kept them in Platinum 3, uh, and a loss would have dropped them out, so... Taking in the trusty trio, first up we have a Crossbones on Tyranny. Gonna go in with Void here. I realize this isn't the best matchup for several reasons. Got class disadvantage. And uh, Crossbones has a chance from his signature ability to shrug off Void's debuffs. However, his signature ability is only at 20, which I checked before starting the recording. Uh, and it's only like a 10 or 12 or 15% chance to shrug it off. So, um, plus with the... Weakness debuffs that I'm getting, uh, any chip damage that I take, I can heal up you know, pretty quickly uh, just by staying close to crossbones. So uh, I had a huge problem at first baiting out this initial special one from him. And you'll see rather than getting caught in the, uh, in the corner, I'm just going to have to push him here over two bars of power. And thankfully, he immediately then fires off his special two, which I can evade the final shot of and go right back in. You can see I'm already back up to a yellow bar from the block damage after that special too so and then of course there I get special intercepted that was probably a mistake on my part um, that that typically doesn't happen you know usually I wait for like a block confirmation I don't I don't really know but so at this point you know I don't want to go into the next fight with you know less than 100% health so I'm going to try and slow play this a little bit uh, to give myself time to heal back up, and you can see we're, we're already back at 100% health. So, got Fear of the Void up. Uh, you can see he got indestructible. That's because Crossbones is a metal defender, and our opponents are running Bulwark uh, this war, so um, <clears throat> immune to armor breaks and has a chance to go indestructible, uh, I think, when you deal a certain percentage of their health. So, got out of there with the full attack bonus and also uh, full health, which is great. All right, next up we have this Kingpin. This is on uh, Special Lock 1 and Long Distance Relationship. It's a pretty standard Kingpin fight. He's going to shrug off most of our bleeds, but that works in Namor's favor because it gives him uh, additional outrage. It kind of works like an immunity um, when Kingpin shrugs those off. So I uh, don't want to push him over two bars of power because that Special 2 is annoying, especially if he happens to go overpowered right before or right in the middle of it. Um, then you're in trouble because those that purple blast thing is, is pretty intense. So I'm uh, just going to cycle the special one here, try and keep myself at 100% uh, health. <clears throat> See, the uh, my opponent was also running suicides. He shrugged them off at the start of the fight, uh, but you'll notice when he fires off a special, he's getting recoil damage as well. So um, rather than uh, fool around with multiple Furies, uh, I hit Imperius Rex and just used one SP2 there to finish off the fight. Since this is early, you know, the, the mega damage doesn't really matter. All right, up top we have somebody we haven't really seen in a while. This is a King Groot on Vigor. Uh, so we're going to go in here with Void. So with King Groot, he has a, I think, a close to 100% chance to shrug off debuffs when he has a Fury. Uh, he will consume a Fury to shrug off a debuff. So... <clears throat> What I'm trying to do here is parry stun intentionally to remove the Furies, uh, and then once he is in his regen phase, you're safe to parry and go back in and also to land the Intimidating Presence debuff. So this way, if you get both initial Furies off um, at the start, by the time your first Intimidating Presence timer is up, the debuff will stick. So um, other than that, I don't can't remember if I end up doing the Armor Break trick uh, in this in this fight or not. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, so King Groot, when he has a Fury buff active, uh, he has, I think, an 80% chance if he hits you with his special one to land a permanent armor break debuff on you. And I've used this trick many times in prior seasons, but, but to be honest, I don't really see King Groot that much anymore. <clears throat> Anyways, if you run Willpower, the permanent uh, armor break debuff is actually just a permanent source of regeneration throughout the rest of the fight. So... Uh, if I had gone into this fight with, you know, maybe three quarters or half health, 
Um, I probably would have worked the Furies uh, in time to get him a special one and then intentionally gotten hit by the last hit of it uh, and then slow played the rest of the fight in order to regen back up to full health. So I've seen other people use this trick as well. Uh, I think I, I got it from uh, from Brian Grant. I think I saw it on one of his videos a long time ago. So uh, it looks like we don't need to do that in here. So I'm going to keep going here. Wait till his regen phase is started and then we land a special two so we get the uh, power sting or the dark stings i guess they're called for void get those up and then we're going to wait for him to fire off his special one so there we go he gets additional degen and a weakness debuff and uh, that's all she wrote for mr king Groot. so pretty good fight maybe could have been a little bit better uh took a few blocked hits there but all right next up we have a green goblin on uh, buffet and recovery we can go in here with warlock to stop green goblins healing uh, i noticed this person also or maybe it's the same person as an earlier fight i don't i don't recognize the name is running suicides anyway uh, so once we get the infection up uh, if we can get it up before the bleed that'd be great uh, but the poison is permanent and as soon as we have the infection up which is right now uh, the poison will be doing some additional damage for us uh, and also you know further decreasing his healing even though he's heal blocked from um, from the infection so other than that we're going to try and keep him below a bar of power if we can just so we don't have to take block damage from from uh, blocking the special one uh, you know one one parry is much preferable uh, to blocking an entire special one so uh, I don't think he gets another special off and uh, there we go down pretty easy fight no problem and next up we have a Sabertooth, I think it is, on a buffet node, the uh, the shared buffet node, I guess. Um, what else does this have? This has a couple other nodes that I don't think affect Sabertooth, like uh, Empowered Immunity, so if you use Iceman, you know, you're going to have a, a problem. But uh, Warlock, you know, a good matchup for Sabertooth in just about any situation, so as soon as we get that infection up, his regen will be completely shut down. And we will be good to go. So I think I mess up. Is it in this fight or am I thinking of a prior war where I push him over two bars of power by accident? It must have been a prior war that I'm thinking of um, where I, I just couldn't get him to throw that special one. Even even keeping my distance as I as I preach quite a bit. The further you stay away from, from Sabretooth, the more likely he is to launch his special one. So this is definitely not the same fight I was thinking of. Um, Trying not to uh, lose my focus here, that was also a problem for me in a previous Sabretooth fight where I took a 5-hit combo at the end of the fight and, and lost like half my health. So no such issues here as we get through that with another full AB. All right, up on Boss Island, we got this Domino. This is on Stun Immune and Dismay, I think is the node. Yep, and a chance to stun uh, if she hits us as well. So just going to top off Warlock with an L3 potion here, <clears throat> and we're going to go right in. Um... I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't really see any reason to use Void against Dominoes ever again. Um, the advantages that using any tech champ gives you over Domino far outweighs the, um, you know, any benefits that, that Void might have with the, with the permanent degen. Um, and I think since I got Warlock, I'm not sure that I have actually died to a Domino in war. Uh, whereas with Void, uh, there's so many things that can go wrong. Uh, you know, your debuffs can straight up fail. If Fear of the Void fails, especially on one of those like Buffet or um, Vigor lanes, then you are in big trouble because uh, you're basically starting the fight over from scratch midway at that point. So no such problems here uh, with Domino. She's stun immune, so we don't have to worry about landing uh, the tricky parries with her. We're just going to basically bait out heavy attacks. Um, there's no extra chance to evade because they're not running dodge, which is great. Um, and she's hitting into our block with her gunshots, which is power draining her, which is also great. Uh, so the power drain is giving her a little bit of extra degen, also great. Um, and then we're going to avoid hitting into her when she gets that lucky passive, whenever she crosses, crosses one or two bars of power. So uh, she's being very forthcoming with her special attacks. Uh, and this person is running recoil, which is just extra great. Um, so all in all, you know, this is this is about as good a, a fight as you can get against Domino. Um, and this will probably be the last time that Domino is this, you know, quote-unquote easy. Um, because the, the tactics for next season are going to make her and Havoc especially massively overpowered. 
Um, I think the there's one for the mutant champs or X-Men or mercenaries or whatever, where they have a like 15% chance to be, you know, have a, a hit that's unblockable. So, you know, they're they're tough to, to parry to begin with, but now you're gonna have to worry that you know mid combo into your block they could go unblockable and uh, you can just get wrecked. So. Anyway, so we're getting out of there with another full AB. And on to the next mini boss, which is a Korg. This is a max rank max sig Korg, I believe, from when I checked. And this is uh, enhanced special one, stun immune, and there's one more node, or one more, one more thing on this one. Oh, it's it's like uh, physical resistance, I think, 60%. So, gonna have to rely on uh, two things on this fight. Uh, one, we're going to have to rely on returning some of the Thorns damage back to Korg in the form of energy damage. Uh, and then we're going to have to rely on you know the two Furies and a Mega special attack to end this fight pretty quickly. So I think the first time around here, um, I screw up the timing of the uh, first special three, and I end up triggering Imperious Rex. Uh, or rather, I don't trigger it. It triggers by itself uh, like a half second uh before I'm ready for it. So, uh, I'm, so I'm already at my special three now. Uh, we've got uh, his shield shattered and we're close to maxing out an outrage. So what I should have done here is just kind of backed off and waited for the outrage to naturally apply. And then when I hit 28, um, so right here, I, I shouldn't also have finished that combo uh, with five hits. I should have just gone in with you know one or two hits and fired off the special three when I had 28 outrage. So. So right here, we're missing out on a ton of damage. Uh, his rock stacks are down at that point, so you can see we did do a nice little chunk, uh, but we're not doing nearly as much as we need to be doing. Um, and then I take a special one there, indestructible uh, boost just kind of saves me. We still got the Fury active, so we're doing uh, you know some damage here, uh, but now it's kind of looking a bit dire because we've got half the fight gone, uh, and he is nowhere close to being dead. So uh, at this point, it's kind of like a race to another special three uh, so that we can try and get you know another Fury up and maybe he just hit him down with basic hits. Uh, the physical resistance node uh, that he has in this fight uh, is really, really tough. Um, so I think what I do here is launch my SP3 as soon as I get it. Uh, no time to waste. Uh, especially since the timing of the special three animation works against you, against the clock rather. <clears throat> uh, so his shield is down again, so we get a nice little chunk of damage gone. Uh, less than a minute left here, and he has almost half his health left. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of assuming that I'm going to time out unless I can get some uh, really uh, lucky uh, breaks with my special attack. So Imperius Rex about to hit again, there we go. I get one special three or one off right as Imperius Rex hits, and then the Mega SP2 uh, with the first Fury active and ends up nuking him down. So, whew, didn't think that was going to happen, but uh, pretty happy about it. All right, last but not least, we have what's left of this Human Torch. This is the double power gain or triple power gain, I think it is, uh, and enhanced special two. Uh, so the strategy here is basically don't let him get to a special two because if he it's unblockable and if he hits you with it, I think it has a, a pretty high if not guaranteed chance to stun you, and then you're pretty much dead. So I'm just going to block all the special ones rather than try and uh, avoid them. Uh, when we block the special one, we're giving Human Torch Smolder passives, but since Void is incinerate immune, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, he can get as much Smolder as he wants. As long as he doesn't go into uh, flame on mode, which I don't think he can because it requires a combination of smolders and incinerates, uh, we should be good to go. So um, just kind of letting the degen do its work here, applying the uh, debuffs when we have them, and being very, very careful not to get hit or take him over two bars of power because I think if he fires off one special two, it's probably the end. Um, the person who went in before this tried with Ghost, just kind of, you know, phasing the intercepts. Um, should have had the, the, the solo. I forget what, what went wrong. Uh, but we get we get the cleanup, and that's all she wrote. So that's it for us for the last war of the season. It was another loss, bringing our record to a very unimpressive 4-8. and eight. No deaths, no big boy potions. 
Uh, just one potion to top off Warlock up before that uh, that Domino fight. So, um, you know, overall this season, uh, I'll have some thoughts I think I'll put together. The rewards are already in as I'm recording this, so I will uh, probably set up another video and talk about uh, the season recap, a uh, few thoughts. Maybe we'll open up a bonus crystal or two. We'll see what happens. Uh, but that's about it. Happy New Year. Recording this on New Year's Day. And uh, thanks for sticking with me for another season. Appreciate your support and your views and your likes and your comments, all those that I try to reply to. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.